Hey everyone, it's Sammy from Sammy Sweet Life and I'm filming quite a few videos today so you're gonna see me in the same old thing in a lot of these thumbnails and intro parts of the video but today I am talking about these cute little passport planters that I got from Aura Estelle. Now I've shown some of their planners in the past. They're just Tomoe River paper planners. They also make ring type planners and inserts and things, but I just check out their Tomoe River paper planner section. They've got covers for various sizes of things as well, but they came out with these passport sizes with the cutest little passport folio. It was out of my planner launch budget. I have totally blasted through my planner launch budget. So I've got a couple more planners to show for planner launch and I'm working with a couple of companies, but I already used it and I think they were like 60 bucks. So it was not a cheap thing, but covers are things you can use year after year, but because it's so teeny tiny and it's a new size to me, I didn't want to commit to spending that much money on something that I may or may not actually use in practice. So I didn't end up getting the covers. I got the little passport set of things that they released and a couple of other goodies to show you guys today. But yeah, it's just super teeny tiny and I love cute and little it is. It's just one of those things where I'm like, I love my big seven by nine planners. And then I started using more A5 size and thinking, oh, you know, that's a really nice manageable size. And then I got one A6 on accident. I never would have considered like an A6 or passport size thing, but I ended up thinking I was ordering A5 size, which is like this size, A5. And I ended up ordering A6, which is half of the size. Like it's half the size and being totally shocked like what in the world is this teeny tiny little thing and actually really liking the size so I ended up getting quite a few A6 things um, in the year especially moving into 2024 um, and really liking this like really compact cute little size and then seeing passport size things too and now I'm like I keep getting smaller and smaller planners and really enjoying it. So all that to say, I'm gonna be exploring passport size things. I did end up picking up some stuff from Aura Estelle. We're gonna discuss all of those things. I've ended up getting some elastic bands so that we can do some traveler's notebook style tweaking and hacking. So I'm excited about that as well. But yeah, let's go ahead and hop into some teeny tiny planner goodness from Aura Estelle. I'm gonna open my Aura Estelle package. I'm super excited about this one. I got some elastics in there so that I can do some folio excitement with the moxie folios. I'm going to add extra elastics in to add more books. So it was all nice and wrapped up. I was just going to unload it really quick. I'm taking Ruby to a dance practice here in a minute. So I've got to look through this. So they have their own ring binders, various sizes, and also they have their own Tomoe River paper planners. And they also have just covers for the actual planners themselves, not just ring bound ones. So these elastics work in some of their covers as well, but they had lots of different colors of this, so I just got a big thing of the pink because I thought it was pretty. And then this is one of their new products. It is an undated passport book here. It does also come with the stickers. So you can add your own dates and months and things. It says daily, two pages per day, and one monthly book and one grid booklet. So each one of these has 31 days in it. I love the colors of these. Just so beautiful. So these are something easy I can slip into my belt bag. It shows you how the monthly spread looks. Let's see, there it goes. It shows you how you can use your day. There's hours on one side, one side's blank. And so each, each booklet has a monthly spread in the front. Your name, your monthly spread, and then all the 31 days. Super cute. They're just so cute and little, and I just love the color scheme. And then you get one grid booklet. So I can't tell which one's which. It says daily on the inside. Okay. Daily grid. So this is just a grid notebook. Super cute. So they have a little passport size book and I almost got it. It was super duper cute. I thought I could stick these actually in my little A5 because they're a little bit smaller than A5. I totally could see myself. That's the Wonderland 222 notebook. This is a, a Sterling Ink notebook. So of course it's a little bit bigger, but I could still totally like slip one of these in, one of these back covers or something and have it with me. No, nope, that's not a cover. This one is. I could slip it in there. And I'll probably like flip it around so I could grab it out. Oh no, maybe not with the book right there. Okay, well I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna stick this in with my other book. You could totally like slip it in that. And then have a little monthly or daily spread in there. I don't know, I don't know exactly how it's gonna work. I could stick an actual elastic in here and make it work in here too. I want a book in here as well. So I don't know. I thought about maybe mixing it up, but I just thought they were cute. The colors were really pretty. Very excited about that one. 
And then last thing before I have to get her off to dance, I got um, just a traveler's notebook size standard grid companion here. And I, I, one reason I got this was because it was pink. I just love, oh, see, I make these really hard to get out sometimes. <laughs> Look, it's just pink, it's really pretty. I have another standard traveler's notebook that I have shown you guys, but this one's a thinner version and it's also perforated pages, so. Just take them out. This is just a standard traveler's notebook size, and I have a horizontal coming from Sterling Ink at some point. I pre ordered it's a dated 2024, so I could pair it with this and have more lines. So that's an option. Okay, now that I've walked through the unboxing of this, I've had a little bit of time to play around with some of these things. One cool thing is with these notebooks, you get one that is not intended the same way. It's just a notebook. This is the daily passport. Daily, this is, says grid passport daily passport. This grid one is just a notebook, so it doesn't have the little hourly spread on it like these. Passports have the two page spread going on where you have your hourly page, a place for a title, and then this is just straight up grid on the next page. So the idea is you use one of these books per month and have a two page spread every day. And it's convenient to have just one of these per month and they fit in that little folio that they offer, but I don't have one of those. So I'm kind of using it my own way. Now they do come with stickers, which I think are great. I will end up using these for various things. I might end up using it as its intended purpose at some point, but I just love that it gives you all the months and calendars and days and different titles and things that you can use to sticker up things. So I will definitely use these in some capacity because I'm always needing date headers and things for various things, but I'm not gonna use them in the I'm not using them in the intended way right now, which, oh, something just came off, which is not good. My January just came off. So I guess these stickers go right at the edge of these pages. So they are washi stickers. That way they won't um, bulk up the planner too much. That totally did not work. <laughs> I was like trying to stick it back on there and it did not work. Okay, I'm trying my best there to stick it back on there. But um, yeah, these are super cute, totally functional. Like they don't add a lot of bulk and I will use these in some way. Hopefully that doesn't tap it again. Don't peel sticker. Okay, I finally got it back in there mostly. Um, so yeah, holding on to those, we'll definitely use those. It comes with enough for three months worth of stickering in these guys. It comes with the three daily books and then another one. There's supposed to be four, but I'm actually using one. So I actually have this Hobonichi Cousin. I've got my Tomoe River paper sticker sneeze and wellness log and all that that I'm testing out, but I'm also testing out the passport. It fits perfectly in this little pocket, which is super cute. And I'm just using it right now as a running to-do list. I haven't used the monthly page at all. I've just got a running to-do list on here. And I just start the next day. So far, this is working for me, but I've only used it a couple of days. So I don't know how I'm gonna use it in the future, but I love that I could take it with me on the go and just have my to-do list with me. And so far, so good. So that's just stuck in there for now. And it also came with a cute little sticker. It's a thank you sticker. And I didn't realize it at the time. I just thought it was like a postcard thing. It actually has all of these as stickers. So you can totally stick these cute little things. This is what the passport one looks like. Super cute with a little scallop edge. Their notebooks look super cute. And I love that they have a little sticker for you. I will stick those in my planner. It's like a planner sticker in a planner. Super funny. And here's the elastic. Before we talk about that, and we're gonna folio this one, I ended up getting this and their grid on these ones I noticed doesn't go all the way to the edge so it doesn't have like the outline grid it just kind of opens which is different it looked off to me and I realized that's why and these are perforated so you can take these out I do have a traveler's size folio that I actually travel with I've got a sterling ink giant chunky notebook in here and also just a lined notebook in here that's not traveler size, but I definitely could stick this one in as well if I wanted a, an additional notebook or something. It will go in this one. You could do it however you want as far as like looping it in the back or the front or whatever, and that actually will still fit. So I'm like lining up the book. So yeah, that one totally fits in there with my other goodness in my chunky little one. This is from Freckled Fawn. I really like this cover. Okay, so speaking of folios and things. That's why I got this elastic. I was going to try to add more elastic loops and I just did my nails so I'm being kind of finicky about trying to open this. So you can purchase these from RSL in lots of different colors in 
two different lengths. I think I got the longest length and it told you how many like approximate loops you could make with one elastic. So I've got this one from Moxie Life. It's their new folio system for 2024. And I was testing this sucker out. You can get a lot of notebooks in here. There's room to stick one in the back. There's room to stick one in the front. But if you're picking out really thin notebooks, you might need more than four elastics or maybe you don't wanna stick one in the front and the back. So I would pop this one out. And let's say I wanted just another notebook looped in. Okay, I don't know what happened to my footage. I was going and editing my video and I did not show the elastic. So I ended up cutting one elastic, tying it together. And then this is how you slip in more elastic. So you end up having to take your two notebooks. And I already have this one flipped in there. It's like down the center of the notebook approximately, it doesn't have to be exactly center. Then you take the other notebook and do the same thing, kind of open it up to the center, stick it in there. So now these two notebooks are stuck together. You open them where the elastic is, and then that is what you scoot into the other elastic. So now you have an extra book in there, and that way now we have five books. We've got the one, two, three, four, five, but wait, there's more. This elastic you can use for an additional book. So let me grab one. Uh, let's see, I'll grab a thinner book. This is just one of the Moxie Life notebooks. I've got the lined one and also the dot grid one. So it's the same color notebook, but it's two different notebooks. You kind of find the middle again, and then you can stick another one in between the elastic. So theoretically, you can do this as many times as you want. And now, the notebooks that were looped into the new pink elastic are now stuck in the book. And then there's another one in between that. So now we have six notebooks. So theoretically you could do this over and over again until you run out of space in your actual folio. So now it's getting a little bit thick and chunky with all those notebooks in there, but I think I probably could still squeeze in another one. I've still got a little bit of room in there. So that's the way you add more elastics to a traveler's notebook or a folio system that uses elastic bands. I just love the idea of being able to use more notebooks with the elastic. So I just wanted to show that in this video. It's just such a nice little hack that you can do with elastic. And I love that it is a different color. It's like just such a pretty pink one. They have tons and tons of colors. And so let's go ahead and jump to the end of the video that I did have filmed. I just, I don't know what happened. The camera cut off or something. So there you go. There is the elastic tutorial real quick. And that is it. That's it for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love, love, love the aesthetic of Aura Estelle's Traveler's Notebooks and Tomite River Paper type of things. I get into this size. I will end up getting one of the folios, like I said, but as a proof of concept, just testing it out, I couldn't commit to that much, <laughs> that much spending. So hope you guys liked it. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Bye.